And the item hunting adventure continues. And we're back in the Forbidden Woods. Ah! Well, it's just a mini dungeon on Cliff Plateau Wild. So it does look like the Forbidden Woods. Sort of. Anyway. Time to help some helpless Deku trees get their life back. Ow! Stupid Buckle Babas. Oh, I didn't think it was going to make it there. Alright, Deku Tree number one. Hey, that one's healed. And that's all they do. Well, not the last one. The last one will give us our prize. Now it's off to Southern Ferry Island. going the wrong way. Now, I had written Southern Fairy Island down because I thought there was one here. But, apparently I was wrong. I think I just wrote this down as a warp point. Hmm. Well, I was getting a bit worried here because I was like, oh no, I wasted a bit of time. wondered which island actually had one. One of the fairy islands actually had a Deku tree on it, but I couldn't remember which. I think I had it written down. But apparently Southern Fairy Island did not. I, was, I had them written down as initials. So this way I wouldn't have to write down the wrong thing. I'm using an index card to uh, write all those names down. Like Shark Island, I just put and I as an initial. So, now I got worried here. I was like, oh great, time wasted. Shark Island actually has one. I think I just put Fairy, Southern Fairy Island on there. Just as the warp point, like I mentioned a few seconds ago. But yes, uh, Shark Island is the next place to go. And you can check how long your water will stay forest water in the item menu. Like, right here. See, we only have 16 minutes 30 seconds left. I think it just goes by our time, not game time. If it went by game time, it'd be over quickly. Since apparently night and day last 20 minutes, I think. Or less. Alright, Deku Tree number two. I never noticed, but he has a big leaf for a face. The leaf is about as big as he is. Not the tree, the good. Uh, you know what I mean. 
All right, next area. Great Fish Island. You remember that little spiral area? That one has a tree on it. The wind's going the right way, so we don't have to adjust it. Looking at all the islands and uh, seeing which ones I had labeled, because I can't remember which ones exactly I had. Ah, Needle Rock Isle has one. And we're not too far from it. There's no warp point there. Another tree. Deku tree number three. Now once the forest water turns runs out of time, it'll turn back into regular water and then you can empty it out. I mean, you don't have to worry that uh, your bottle will, your bottle will stay full forever. of Wind Waker has been fun, but it's not the only Zelda game I'm uh, going to do. If you have looked at my channel, I have confirmed that I'm going to do Twilight Princess later. That one was requested by my cousin. He has Twilight Princess, but uh, he doesn't play it that much. He's He's semi into Zelda, but he said, I'm not going to buy any more Zelda games until, until they create the timeline. Which means I don't think he'll ever play them. Because we all know, I don't think there'll ever be a timeline released. Though we do know Skyward Sword, the new one takes place before Ocarina. But we just don't know the actual timeline involving all the games. Deku tree number four. All right. You know, my friend was telling me, you're not an actual Zelda fan unless you have every game. Well, I have every game, aside from a faulty Oracle of Ages. He was telling me about this other game, Soul Calibur. I know Link is in it, but is it actually a Zelda title? No, Zelda's name is not in it. So I don't really count it as one. I mean, do I have to have every single Smash Brothers to be a Zelda fan? No, all I own is Brawl. <sighs> you don't have to technically own every game just to be a fan. As, unless it is the name of one. Like if Link is in a game that doesn't have the Zelda name in it, 
I don't consider that a Zelda game at all. Also, I also own every Metroid game. My friend tells me, well, you don't own Metroid Prime Hunter's First Hunt. The demo that came with the DS, that's a demo. Not a full game. I don't count that one as either. So technically, all I own is the official Metroid games. Full games, not demos. I mean, do I have to own a demo to own every game? No! And this is the same friend who requested me to do this. Uh, well, who am I to go? Speak the truth. That's what I do, actually. But, uh... Yeah, I got nothing else to say there. Okay, it looks like I'm off to the, uh, looks like the private oasis. Yes, yeah, so there's a Deku tree here. Apparently I have to go on the other side to get to the island. Deku tree number five. <laughs> Off to another one. Need to go more northern and western. Yeah, I guess that means I'm off to somewhere else. Oh yeah, why don't we just take a shortcut to the Tower of the Gods? <laughs> yeah, with well, this situation, shortcuts matter. I think it was Eastern Fairy Island that had the uh, Deku tree on it. I think that's just where I'm headed. I think I had to win this way just to prepare myself because the, aside from Eastern Fairy Island, the last two are on Mother and Child Isles and Star Island. Those will be the last places I go to, in that order. Right. Make it to Eastern Ferry Island. Deku Tree number six. And that concludes this part of the walk the let's play. Item hunting part three to be continued. <laughs>